this might be easier to show. So let me show the setup. So we'll go down here, we've got a Mac Mini Pro, and we have two Acasis drives here. These are the TB405s, I believe, we've got the numbers on them. We've got one on one side, one on the other, they're both plugged in. Uh, looks like they're plugged into ports two and four right now, just kind of randomly. So we'll go to the front and let's run a quick speed test. And here they are mounted. The two drives are mounted. So let's go ahead and select Photo Archive 1. Open that. It's set to five gigabytes. And we'll run that. And we get respectable 208 right. 22722 two, two, two read. So, okay. And now let's select drive number two. My archive for editing videos. And we'll start that speed test. And we basically get identical drive speeds. Okay, so I'm going to stop this right here and we'll hook the other drive up. The Envoy Express is now plugged in. It's plugged into the first of the four Thunderbolt ports. And I had to restart the Mac because I'm trying to use this drive as the home directory. So if I do not restart after it hasn't been plugged in, it won't show up. And so I've restarted the Mac. Now here's what's interesting is I went ahead and opened up this under system report. And if we look at the Thunderbolts up here, it's only showing the Envoy Express in one and the Thunderbolt four, it's not showing, which should be, I think in the second one here, which would be bus one. It's not showing anything. So there's no device connected, but yeah, it's connected. Now I haven't run the speed test yet. So let's go ahead and run the speed test on, select the drive and let's select the Envoy Express first. And I'm getting expected data, 1384 right. 1500 read. Okay. Now let's go to the fourth port. And I've got these marked that's showing up. But wait, let me go back and check again. Number four. Yep. Yeah, number bus three, which should be port four. And if I look at here, that one's coming over here. And if I back on the back of it, I've marked it, but that's drive number two, it's sideways, but that's drive number two. And I've marked it up here, so drive number two is my Final Cut Pro work disk. So let's select that one. I'm going to expect this one to be full speed. Two, we'll select that one, start it, and we get full speeds, the same. Okay. Now, I'm going to guess that the Photo Archive 1 is going to be the slow speed, about 960 is what I was getting in the past. Let's select that target drive, number one. Open that, start it, and sure enough, as predicted, 970. And 877, which is consistent with what I was getting before. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to unmount these drives and just connect one in at a time. I want to show something I think that's interesting. Note the device tree. It's showing the Envoy Express in bus zero, which there it is plugged into the first one. But notice the other two the Casus drives are not plugged in right now. I've unplugged them, but the system is still showing in port four that TBU 405 is being connected. So I think that's kind of odd because earlier 
when they were both plugged in, it was not, you know, it was not showing that other drive. So this is kind of odd. All right, so I'm going to skip the next step here. I've now plugged in that drive number one. There it is. And now it's plugged in, let me show in the back. Drive one here. I'll show you that I have a mark here. There's drive number one. It's plugged into number four down here. And the system is showing that I'm going to go ahead and do the black magic speed test, select drive one. I'm going to open it up here, start the test, and I get the expected speed. So all is good there. So let's stop that. I'm going to unmount this, eject it. Let's go around to the back. I'm going to have to put you down for one second so I can do this with both hands. Okay, plug that. I'm going to move this over to, let's move it to port number two, right beside the envoy. So we've put this drive, which is still drive one, into port number two. Apple is still not showing anything, which I assume is bus one. So there's one mounted. Let's select it. Select target drive, it's still one. And we'll open that up and we'll hit start. And we still get that full speeds. All, all is good. So maybe it's just the, maybe this is the way Apple reports this. I don't know. It just seems odd to me. Maybe this is a red herring. So let's go ahead and plug in drive number two. Let's plug it into number port three here. Okay. So now, all right. So now we've got. Sorry, I'm getting interrupted from these videos. I keep pushing the button. Drive number two is now in port number three. And it's showing up, there's drive two. Now I'm expecting this one to be slow. So let's see, first let's retest one again. Make sure we're selecting target drive. One, open. I expect this to be full speed. Okay, pretty much 27.96. And 26 again or so, so that's fine. All right, so let's select drive two. And I expect this one to be slow. Okay, Final Cut Pro 2, open that one. And sure enough, it's 972. And that one is slow again. So I'm going to, what am I going to do next to test here? I flip back and forth, it doesn't matter. Whenever the Envoy is plugged in, one of the two drives is slow. Let me stop this here and think about what I want to do next. Let's try this. Let's unmount drive one. Okay, eject drive one. And let's now speed test two, which was slow. I think it's still going to be slow. I think I have to unplug it and replug it back in. So let's select the drive just to make sure. Two, select term two. Let's hit start speed test. It's still slow, which is what I expected. So I'm going to let this read write finish. I'm going to eject this, unplug it, and plug it back in, and I expect it to be fast, right? So if I just remount it, it doesn't do anything. So let me see if I can remount to... Okay, 
it will still be slow. Let me select it again. Two selected. I expect this to be slow. Yep, okay. Now let's eject it and unplug it. All right, go back here. Um, let's see, let's unplug. Envoy again is in number one. Right, let's unplug these. All right, so we've unplugged. Envoy expresses, so we want to go back and check what we want to. We were doing, I think, two, correct? Okay, so let's do drive number two. Uh, let's see. Let's do this is drive two. Let's plug it into the right side of Envoy Express, I guess. Okay. All right, so drive two is now plugged into port two. It just showed up on the screen. And I expect this to be fast. So let's do two. Open that up, start, and sure enough, it's fast. So let's now plug in drive one again. There's drive one over here. This is drive number one. And we'll plug it in. We'll plug into the third port here this time. We'll leave number four open. So plug that in. Okay, so it's plugged in. Should pop up. There's number one popping up, and I expect this to be slow. Select target drive. Okay, there's one. Open that up, start it. Sure enough, it's slow as predicted. And let me work like that. Run, and let's look down again at the buses. Again, it's only showing bus three, which I assume is port number four. So, all right, so that's that. Let me stop this video right here. Next, let's next do this. Let's eject the, K, uh, the sorry, the OWC. Now these are still gonna be slow until I think I remount. I, can, I just can't remount it, I have to, Physically unplug it, plug it back in. But let's, let's check my theory here. So let's go to, let's do back to two. Let's go back to select target drive two. I expect this to be fast. And I am correct, 2700, 2600. Now let's select drive two, which I still expect to be slow. Select number drive one. Open, and as predicted, it's slow. Next, I'm going to eject and physically remove the drives. We'll plug um, one back in first. This is the slow one, right? So we were selecting target drive, just make sure one. So let's reconnect everything. So let's eject those, eject. Eject. All right, so let's go back to the back. Unplugged everything. Let me put you down for one second. Okay, let's show we've unplugged everything. Let's take the envoy out of the equation. So the side. Let's go back to drive one, which is this guy. Let's just plug him in to, well, let's just choose port number two, just for fun. All right, All right he's plugged into port number two. Okay. Now, 
photo drive one. I expect this to be fast. And it's back to being fast again. I'm hoping this helps that I just can't figure out. Just whenever this OWC is in the equation, it drops the speed of one of my drives. Uh, and it's not, there's nothing I first thought the drives themselves, one of the drives or one of the uh, cases was bad because these are Samsung 970 EVO two terabyte drives. And in the OWC, I have a, grab the thing here. It's a uh, silicon power, Uh, let's see if there's a model number here. You can probably grab the model numbers off of that from that. So that's what's in the OWC drive. So that's that's the gist of where I'm confused. So I just have to think it's the OWC drive that's somehow interfering with the speed on the Acasa slash Samsung 970 EVOs. Thank you so much.